everybody, I'm Mandy, and today I'm going to be reviewing black lipstick. So I have five different lipsticks that I'm going to try out. They're going to be super fun. I have Black Moon, um, Sleepwalker, this one. I have the Pretty Zombies, which is the black cat. The Wet n Wild, um, so noir cool. The KVD Studded Kiss, um, it's called Slayer, and KVD Witches. So I'm going to be talking about those today. I'm also going to be doing um, a napkin test and see how well it comes off with my uh, makeup remover. So let's get started with the Black Moon. Let's see how this one goes on. Wow, I'm really bad at this. It's really soft. Feels like it might come off. It's really bad, but... I like it. It's nice. Now let's test it. It still feels wet, so I don't know how well this is going to work. Stayed on, so that's good. I like it. It's cool. It's dark. Now let's see how well it comes off. You like that? Alright. Got it got it off pretty good. That was the black moon sleepwalker. We are going to do Pretty Zombies Black Cat. By the way, I've never um, had black lipstick before, so this is the first time reviewing it. I also don't wear a black or any lipstick at all on a daily basis or ever. I don't really wear makeup. So my review of this is pretty, uh, might be bad, but you might get some insight. So let's try this one. This one's also pretty good. Putting this on pretty bad, aren't I? But you get the gist. It's pretty neat. Feels like it already dried. Let's do the napkin test. I'll do it over here. Still on. Feels like it's it dried a lot quicker than the uh, black moon. Now, let's see how well it comes off.
Maybe I should just do the top lip, right? Getting it all over my face. Let's just throw that away. All right. Let's move on. I like those two. My favorite was the probably the pretty zombies because it dried really quickly, and I felt like it wouldn't get everywhere like the first one would. I'm going to do the Wet and Wild. Can you see that? called So Noir Cool. So let's see if it's that cool. So far it looks pretty bad. So I don't recommend this one. It's really wet. Maybe that's why it's called Wet and Wild. Yeah. Not a fan. So far. Let's see how it holds up. And it's pretty much gone. So. There's that one probably don't get that one unless you want it to look like that easy to take off obviously okay thought I had something on my cheek um so let's go ahead and do the KVD lips are getting a little chapped the Studded Kiss Cream, which is in this awesome tube. It's called Slayer. They also have one called Motorhead in this one. And it's probably really cool because it matches my hair. Lipstick. bad. I feel like I might have to reapply like in a couple hours if I were to wear this on a daily basis. So let's just give you an idea. It's all right. It's definitely better than the wet and wild so far. Let's do the napkin test. Maybe I didn't let it dry enough, but there you go. It smells really good though. Yeah. Easy to take off. Not really that messy, so that's good. Just have to dry my lips off after that. And the last one, the KVD Witches Everlasting, um, Everlasting Kiss. So let's go ahead and see how this one is. pretty wet. 
Got it everywhere. Maybe when it dries, it'll be better. I don't know, I heard a lot of good things about this one. Kinda. Uh, I mean, if you had better experiences that I'm having right now, then feel free to leave your comment. Looks better the second time around. I know it's a little sloppy. Not, you know, perfect. So. Still feels a little wet. Looks solid though. It's good. There you have it. Obviously didn't wait, you know, long. But, if you want your lips to be lighter looking and still look good, this is cool. Gives you kind of like a little outline thing going on. Let's see how well it comes off. There you have it. You have five different lipsticks to choose from. I do not recommend the Wet n Wild one because it was really wet and wild. It didn't it didn't <laughs> stick. It had the messiest um, blot on the paper right there. Um. All of them came off a little bit. I'm sure it's because I uh, took it off really quickly. But I would have to say my favorite one is the Pre Zombies, the uh, Black Cat. It definitely stuck and it was very solid, and I like that a lot. Um, probably, yeah, that was my, I would choose that one. And then my second one would probably be the everlasting one, just a second coat of it, because that looked really solid. And when it came off, it still looked kind of cool. So if you want my opinion, there it is. If you have any of your experiences, like I said before, go ahead and leave a comment below. And I will give y'all links to all of the lipsticks that I tried on today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and come back for more. Bye.